Welcome to The Well Drop, Own Your Wellness. I'm your host, Amber Berger. And I'm Dina Wismer. We are mothers, friends, wellness experts, and self-described warriors who have each experienced our own unique personal wellness journeys. We are your wellness friends here to give you drops of wisdom we've discovered over the years that actually work. Wellness, what is it really? The struggle is real and we're here to help sift through the noise. On this episode today, we are excited to have Rachel Kaplan Grossman, who is the CEO and co-founder of HProof. Rachel is a fellow South Florida native, just like me, who transitioned out of law after working in the New York City startup scene for nearly a decade. She returned to South Florida to start HProof with her medical doctor mom. This mother-daughter duo co-authored the two patents for HProof's debut product, the Anytime You Drink Vitamin. The company has experienced exponential growth, leading HProof to be ranked number 53 on this year's Inc. 5000 list of America's fastest growing private companies and number six on this year's Inc. 5000 list for America's fastest growing consumer products. HProof promotes enzymes that power alcohol metabolism, helping you turn alcohol and its related toxins into harmless substances. It also replenishes the vitamins and electrolytes that you use up in the process of drinking and provides a ton of other good stuff that support a healthy brain, liver, and body function. Rachel, thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here. I actually discovered HProof during COVID when we were all locked up and the drinking, I'm not even a big drinker, but my husband and I started opening up bottles of wine every night because we didn't know what else to do. I became a day drinker in COVID (laughs) for a little bit, just a little bit of time. (laughs) Whatever we needed to get by, right? Yes. But my yep. problem was, I would, and I don't know how you felt, Dina, I would wake up in the morning with a headache and I didn't feel great. And it wasn't being hung over. I literally would have maybe one glass of wine. And it was then that I noticed, oh my gosh, I was then about to turn 40. My body is not processing alcohol the same way. This is a problem. But at the same time, I don't want to stop having a glass of wine because one, I enjoyed it. And two... I don't know. I just didn't feel like that was, I wasn't sober curious per se. So it was through research that I discovered H proof because I really love that it was a chewable vitamin. So it's not a pill, even though I'm very into supplements, but I really appreciated that it was a chewable vitamin and it sort of became like a little dessert for me at the end of the night. So I, it's two vitamins that you take for every five drinks. That's right. Is that correct? And I chew it like a little dessert before I go to bed. And literally for me, you wake up and it's as if you never had a drink. And I think for women, especially as you like 35 plus, your body starts to change. And a lot of my friends say, you know, I just can't drink like I used to. And it's not even about the quantities, just even one really affects us. Um, And so this has been sort of my little biohacking, (laughs) my biohacking treats. I love that you think about it like your dessert at the end of the evening. I know some other people think about it as sort of like an after dinner in replacement of an after dinner mint or something. So I think it, you know, it's nice to have the chewable because it is, you know, it is different. It is a little bit of a treat instead of, you know, having to swallow a handful of pills or whatnot. Yes. And it tastes great too. I think something that's just not a pill is really, really wonderful. Can you tell us a little bit about what inspired you guys to even create this line? How did this even come come up and how long ago was this? Yeah. So it's very similar to what drove you to discover H-Proof, which is I noticed that as I was maturing, let's say, and really approaching the age of 30, that's when for me, I noticed that having really only two glasses of wine could mean waking up and feeling not so great in the morning. And I didn't think that was fair, right? I understand if you're really over consuming that you wake up and you don't feel so hot, that's on me. But if I'm really drinking responsibly and just trying to relax with a glass of wine, I should be able to wake up in the morning and feel good. And so I started looking for a solution to this problem and I didn't find it. But what I did find was a lot of research about ingredients like dihydromyricidin or DHM for short. That's the big, big mouthful ingredient in our formulation. (laughs) I know. Um, and milk thistle um, and B vitamins and and all of these sort of naturally occurring ingredients had this incredible science behind them showing that they can really help the body metabolize alcohol, but a product didn't exist that included all of them. And so I had the idea of, you know what, 
I have a problem. I think the solution could be a vitamin incorporating all of these incredible things. I don't really know the first thing about, about vitamins. I'm not a scientist. I'm not a doctor. Luckily, my mother is a brilliant medical doctor. So I called her and I said, you know, this is the problem that I'm having. I think I have a solution. I, I want to make something, but you know, I have this research and I, I understand some of it, but not all of it. Can you read this and can you help me develop this product? And she said, you know, of course, you're my daughter. I would do anything for you. And she said also, admittedly, I'm having the same problem. She's obviously at a different stage in life, but she noticed that, you know, her favorite drink was champagne. She couldn't even enjoy a glass anymore without feeling sort of crappy the next day. Mm -hmm. And so she said, you know, I'm going to help make this for you, but I'm also making it for me. And thus began the journey wow. of developing the Anytime You Drink Vitamin. Rachel, can you help us understand what's happening to our bodies when we drink that makes us feel poor the next day? Absolutely. You know, what, yeah. So I think the sort of common knowledge, which is actually incorrect information, is that dehydration is the root cause of this problem. Mm -hmm. And that, in reality, is a, is a fraction of what's happening in our bodies. Really, the, the bulk of what's happening is the way we metabolize alcohol has the biggest impact on how we feel in the morning. And so I'll talk a little bit about what that process is. Uh, it's pretty scientific, but I know that you guys and your listeners are, are into this stuff. So basically, when you consume alcohol, it travels to your liver and your liver produces enzymes that first convert that alcohol into a toxin called acetaldehyde. And then your liver produces ad additional enzymes that then um, convert that acetaldehyde into non-toxic substances that then exit your liver and reach your body through your bloodstream. What happens is you only, you know, you only produce so many enzymes in your liver. And unfortunately, as we age, we produce fewer enzymes, which means whereas maybe in your early 20s, you're able to drink three glasses of wine and feel great the next morning. What that indicates is that you have enough enzymes to process those three drinks. Then when you cross into 30, maybe two drinks means you wake up not feeling so great. That's an indicator that you're not producing enough enzymes naturally to fully metabolize those two drinks into non-toxic substances. Now, what happens is when you don't fully metabolize that alcohol, either acetaldehyde or other toxins are leaving your liver and through your bloodstream reaching all aspects of your body, which is why you can feel symptoms from the top of your head with a headache through to muscle ache throughout your body. Wow. So not dehydration. I think that's a big one for people because I think everyone always thinks to put electrolytes, I think, in some of your drinks so that you don't wake up with a hangover, but it's actually about the enzymes. It's really about the enzymes. Electrolytes are great and we have them in the anytime you drink vitamin. But again, it's really just a small piece of what's happening in your body. Is it different for men and women or is this process similar? Do, you, do we have the research to understand that? The process is similar, but there isn't research to understand, for example, the the differences within, do, do men make more enzymes than women? I don't know. But also everybody is different. So even if you just look at a specific gender, not everybody, like literally everybody is going to metabolize alcohol yeah. the same way. Interesting. That was going to be my next question was, is does this degradation happen at a certain age, but not necessarily because everyone is different? Everyone is different. It can happen as early as your mid twenties, or it can start happening as late as your sixties, or maybe not at all. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. I mean, for me, I really pass around. I'll go to a party and I bring each booth with me as a treat <laughs> of my friends because everyone is really struggling with this issue. And I think being sober curious has really become a trend lately, maybe due to this problem because many people are waking up not feeling good. And they say, just won't drink anymore, which is fine. I mean, I think it's wonderful sure. to be alcohol free, but it almost made me feel sad that so many people had to give up something that did bring them joy of just having one glass of wine because there is a part of like the social communal aspect to it, right? Like there's yes. nothing like a girl's night and having a glass of wine together and talking. And there was that element that was really, people were getting, my friends were getting sad about it until I discovered H-proof and was able to say, hey, test this out and let me know if it works. And Luckily for me, even my husband, I mean, Dina knows my husband's a big guy. He's 6'6", six, six, and it even works for him too. So I love to say that like it's something that is definitely like tried and tested, and I'm a huge fan of it, and I can't wait for you to try it, Dina. Rachel, as somebody who's new to the H-Proof product, 
what is it? How do you describe it to those of us who have not been fortunate enough to use it yet? H-proof is a doctor-developed chewable vitamin that promotes alcohol metabolism, supports liver health, and restores vital nutrients. And the way you take it is after your last drink of the night, you pop chew- two chewables, um, and that's it. And you go to sleep. It works while you're sleeping. So you wake up feeling better than you should. And what are these? You have two patents on the product. Can you tell us what the two patents are on? Yes. So one patent is concerning the formulation, which is the ingredients that are included in the anytime you drink vitamin. And then the other patent is regarding the format. We are the only chewable vitamin in the space, and we felt it was important to protect that. Now, I'm sure you've tested out some of your competitors. So I've seen there's other things that are patches versus a vitamin that you swallow. Is there a difference in efficacy between the two different types of formulations that you've come across? Yes. So as a chewable, we are the most effective form of this sort of formulation, really any sort of formulation, because as you chew the product and it's dissolving in your mouth, it's actually getting absorbed directly into your bloodstream. So like the most effective way to take any sort of supplement would be through an IV drip, right? So you've got something that's really, I mean, immediately hitting your bloodstream. The second best, next best would be a chewable, like what we'd offer. And then um, the third best would be something like a capsule, which you swallow, but that travels through your digestive system. And so what happens in that process is you actually lose a lot of the good stuff to the acid in your gut. And so that also, you know, part of why we patented our product, because we find that if you stack us up against the competition, even though on, you know, our formulations are similar, they're not the same, but you will see, you know, a lot of overlap of ingredients. We are the most effective. After how many drinks do you recommend taking H proof? If I have one drink with dinner, do I take it? Do I take more? If I have more than that, how does that work? So with between one and five drinks, we would recommend a full serving, which is two chewables. And we also have customers that actually take the product without drinking at all, just because it has really good stuff in it for your body. If you're having, if you're like really indulging and you're having more than five drinks, we recommend taking a full serving after every five or fewer. So let's say you're doing like a big day to night sort of extravaganza and you're having maybe seven drinks, we would recommend taking a serving after five and then another serving after your final two. Got it. Yes. For me, Dina, I if I even just have one drink, I just take it more to just to make sure that I won't wake up in the morning feeling as if I had a drink, right? I think we like try to protect our energy as much as possible and it's so crucial to us. Yeah. I had one glass of red wine last night and I couldn't sleep. Oh. I had a hard time sleeping last night. Wow. I assume H proof would have helped me. I would have. Yeah, yeah. Right? absolutely. It's funny mentioning the IVs. I think a lot of people associate like, okay, if I'm hungover, you know, there's all these IV drips, but it's interesting to think that you're affecting the enzymes in the liver, but IV drips are usually just a singular vitamin or no, or they have like a hangover mix of a couple things. And is it the same similar ingredients as what's in each proof? Cause I've never done an IV drip. Yeah. So if you're already at the next day and what you're trying to do is sort of treat your symptoms, let's say, um, the ingredients will be different. So the B vitamins that we have in our formulation are really there to promote the enzymes. It's proactive, right? So you're promoting these enzymes so that you can metabolize the alcohol. By the next day, that alcohol has already passed through your liver and those toxins are in your bloodstream. So those B vitamins aren't going to be as helpful. So the, you know, the hangover IV drips that exist really serve more to treat the next day symptoms. We discussed how as we age, we make less enzymes. But it sounds to me this is a product that is helpful for really anybody at any age as well, right? I mean, I, I'm thinking back to my college years and wishing that H proof existed back then. Is that is that true? Would it Absolutely. be recommended? We're appropriate for anyone over the age of 21. And so, what are your plans for H proof at the moment? So, you have this one product. Are you expanding flavors, different types of stuff? What's sort of going on in this vitamin department? Yes. So, very excited. We are launching our very first limited edition flavor this fall. I actually brought some for you guys. Great. <laughs> so you could try. I'll drop you it a at sneak your building, peek. Dina, this weekend. <laughs> Um, Ship it over. <laughs> yeah, we we will get it into your hands, Dina, one way or another. <laughs> so we're doing a limited edition flavor. And if that goes well, then I see that as a part of our future, releasing limited edition flavors maybe a few times a year. And also, we, my mom and I, for the last couple of years, have been working on our second vitamin, 
which we are just wrapping up research and development on, and we are in the middle of working on our patent, and we plan to launch it early next year. And it's, you mentioned earlier that your mother was struggling with a similar issue with you with metabolizing alcohol. How has it been for her since creating this vitamin? She is back on the champagne train. <laughs> It's interesting. A big thing these days is also clean alcohol, right? Of course, organic and free of pesticides. It sounds like though, even if you are drinking alcohol that is as clean as can possibly be, your body is still having that reaction, meaning H proof is still a necessity in helping your body to metabolize it. Is that true? It doesn't matter how clean the alcohol itself is. I think even if the alcohol is clean, let's say, you know, wine is sulfite free, what you said is correct, right? Your body is, is still processing it in the same way. I think the lift is lighter. Like I've had a night out drinking, you know, very clean natural wine and I'm I'm still taking H per before I go to bed. Um, yeah. There's also a difference in how people can feel based on like the alcohol itself. So a rule of thumb is sort of the darker the alcohol, the worse the hangover. And that's mm -hmm. because of something called congeners that are present in, in liquor, you know, and that's congeners are neither, you know, clean nor not clean. It's just a part of, you know, the molecular structure of the beverage. So yeah, I don't know that it, it you know, it might make a difference, but if it were me, I, I would still take the anytime you drink vitamin, no matter what sort of alcohol I was consuming. Interesting. Talking about congeners, I just actually learned about this from a friend of mine who's in the alcohol industry, because I happen to love, I don't know what you drink, Dina, but if I'm drinking tequila, I love Anejo tequila, I think. Was it Don Julio 42 has really been trending, Casamigos. But that's it's technically... the only liquor. It's the only alcohol I can drink anymore. Actually, is tequila. Tequila. That's my favorite too. Actually, yeah, that's me too. <laughs> but then someone was saying because of the congeners at the anejo, and is it because of the way that the um, the barrels are aged? Is that what creates congeners? You know, I'm not sure. I really don't know. Yeah. So they said the lighter the alcohol, the better it is for your body. So really, and not anejo. Blanco is technically better, I suppose. Because it's white versus the yellow. Right. If you were choosing. From a, yeah, if you're choosing based on feeling the best the next day, then yeah, I would go with the Blanco. But I. But you can uh, anejo it up with age know, group. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it'll counterbalance the effects. What excites you in this space? What are you seeing in this space? Because you're sort of, where would you fall? Are you in the supplement space? Where, where do you place age proof? Yeah. So we are a dietary supplement. Really, why we exist is because. You know, the recognition that sometimes our bodies and biologies hold us back from living life to the fullest. And so is there a way to sort of hack that with dietary supplementation so that we're really able to do what we want from the moment we wake up until the moment we go to bed and, and you know, do it again the next day and just and feel well enough to really do what we want to do in life? And what excites me in the wellness space is I think consumers are becoming so much more interested in what they put in their bodies. And they're really starting to look at labels and pay attention to what they're consuming and understand that there is a way to sort of hack their health through dietary supplements. And I think because consumers are, are interested, we're able to exist, right? Like Amber, if you hadn't come to that realization that you know, I, I don't like how I'm feeling and maybe something exists to help me, you you wouldn't have found us. Where where can we find you as somebody who is really excited to try it right now? <laughs> so we are available on our website, which is h-proof.com. We are also available on Amazon and we are rolling out sort of a national retail strategy. Um, so that'll be happening next year. Oh, that's very it sounds exciting. to me, uh, for instance, I have to travel this weekend um, for a family event and I was actually planning on not drinking at the event because it's all the way to California from New York. There's a time change. We're only there for a little bit. My immune system is going to be compromised already just from the travel it sounds to me like t bringing something like H proof would not only help me metabolize my, the alcohol, if I were to drink the alcohol that I would drink at the event, but also help my system function well through all of that stress as well. I mean, it sounds like there's never a bad time to take it, but if, is that an especially good time when you're traveling and drinking and all of that as well? Yes, it is. Um, traveling with H proof is an excellent idea. 
Um, in addition to our liver supporters, we also include immune supporters. We've got zinc, vitamin C, um, and stuff that'll really help support you in times where maybe your immune system is compromised like travel. I like that. Yeah. For those that are taking it without even taking the alcohol, why do they say they are taking it? What are the benefits that they're starting to feel? Yeah. They just, they tell us that they just feel good. It's the number one reason why people take age proof, whether they're having no drinks or one drink or five drinks is they just notice that they, they feel better the next day than they would have otherwise. And what about for people who are taking supplements? Should there be a concern that, oh, I'm going to have too much of a certain vitamin? Is that something to worry about? So I can't speak to what else other people might be taking with the anytime you drink vitamin the ingredients are water soluble. So what that means is if you take too much, you end up just peeing it out. And you know that that's occurred if your pee is like a neon yellow or green, which is sort of a funny side effect that happens on occasion. Um, but that's really, that's all that, that's all that happens. Well, that's great. Yeah. Cause I think a lot of people are scared sometimes like, Oh, I'm already taking this. So I don't want to mix in something else, but just to let them know, you know, you don't have to be worried because they are water soluble. So if you happen to be nervous, just drink extra just to flush out your system. I would also, if anyone were concerned, I would say absolutely speak with your physician and bring all of your vitamins in so that they can review the supplement facts panels to, you know, they might they might have a different opinion, especially if they're more familiar with your physiology. Yes, of course. We always say consult with a doctor first. <laughs> what is exciting, we are going to be offering a 20% offer using the code THEWELLDROP. We will have it in our notes so everyone can try each proof, I think, especially before the holidays. I mean, we're already getting into October. Thanksgiving's around the corner. Um, I'm so excited because it is, Amber, as you noted, it's a social activity. And I haven't enjoyed it as much since I've turned 40 as I used to. And because my body reacts in this way, but you miss the social aspect of it. And I really feel like having this as a tool in my back pocket will allow me to participate in those activities while also not feeling poorly afterwards, which is, which is a real gift. Yeah, it's I agree. Exciting. I think having those, maybe because we've grown up with it, like there's some, you know, celebratory aspect to having a glass of champagne as a toast or a wine or sh people take shots, not overindulging, you know, if like you don't have a problem with alcohol and you can do it socially and casually, but you do feel like crap. I mean, it really becomes a deterrent. So I think this is really a nice liberating way to be able to continue that, you know, cele celebratory and social aspect of having a casual drink with your friends or family and really be able to function the next day, you know, because nothing is worth feeling like crap the next day. Uh, beer, I assume same issues, right? I mean, I feel like we've touched on wine and hard alcohol, but I assume beer as well. If you're having a beer, it's the same thing. No different one to five. You take you take one serving of H proof for, for one to five beers as well. That's what we would recommend. That's actually an interesting point to bring up is are different alcohols affect your enzymes in different ways? Do you know about that? I think different alcohols, it's also like how quickly you're consuming the alcohol. So the difference between taking a shot of vodka versus drinking a beer is the difference, right? Is the shot of vodka you have, it's it's highly concentrated alcohol hitting your system all at the same time. Mm -hmm. Whereas a beer is actually quite hydrating. <laughs> There's a lot of water in it, right? And if you're drinking that over the period of an hour, it's giving your body time to generate those enzymes to metabolize it. So it, it depends on what you're drinking, how quickly you're consuming it. That's all, all part of all part of the factors at play. Age proof is really a game changer in the industry. And we're so excited to see where you take the company. And I just feel so lucky that I even discovered it. I really, I, I share it with everybody because I just, I'm the biggest share. I love to share things that work for me. And uh, I always have extra in my purse. I'm actually going to get some. My father, who while I was young, never drank. Now that he's in his 70s, really enjoys a good <laughs> drink or two. And, you know, please, it, it's like, Go for it. Enjoy it. Yeah. Right. And so I'm so excited to share this with him as well. That's awesome. <laughs> Cause I'm sure he feels him. those the next day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's kind of funny if you think about it, it's a vitamin, you're literally yeah. treating somebody with a vitamin. It's kind of funny. I'm sure you could do some cute like ad campaigns on that. So this we've said, this is a supplement. This falls under the supplement category. And you said it, it's a misconception that dehydration is really the cause of what makes us feel 
poorly the day after we drank. I wonder, like, I, I mean, it used to be when I was in college, we're like, oh, we're going to eat greasy foods yeah. and that's going to suck up the alcohol, which is crazy, right? I mean, um, I guess like just thinking from like a logic perspective, eating foods that are high in B vitamins would probably be good. But off the top of my head, I can't think of any. Uh, maybe yeah. spinach. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. Is there a way to even test your liver enzymes? Is there a test for that? So there are tests for liver enzymes, but they're different enzymes. Oh. And those are the enzymes that are indicators of liver distress mm -hmm. and liver disease. I'm not sure that a test exists to find the levels of the en the liver enzymes that metabolize alcohol. Right. That would be interesting. But you can tell sort of where you are on that spectrum by how well you can metabolize alcohol. So for example, there are individuals that with even a single sip of alcohol, their face will turn red. They won't feel well. It's called alcohol flush or mm -hmm. red flush. That's an indicator that those individuals are making little to no enzymes. Right. Whereas, you know, Amber, one glass of wine means you have, you know, you're impacted the next day. You're probably not producing that many enzymes. For somebody that could drink, you know, four drinks and feel fine the next day, that means that they're probably producing more. Wow. I love like bringing things back to paying attention to your own body and listening to what your body is telling you, because I think we often look for outside sources to tell us how we're doing. And it's a great reminder to check in with your, with listening to yourself and what your own body is telling you, because like you said, it just, everybody has their signs. Um, and so it's a great reminder to pay attention. Yeah, I agree because, I mean, somebody in their 20s could never imagine or even think, oh, I'm losing enzymes to digest <laughs> alcohol. I never in my wildest dreams would have thought of that. I thought, of course, in your 40s, it's a little more normal because your hormones are changing. But yes, it is so individual and to not ignore the signs that if you are waking up and not feeling great, that it's maybe not because you drank too much. Like also right. just pay attention. Like you only had one or two glasses of wine and it may not even be about the quality of the drinks too, which I think is really interesting to note that it really could be your physiology is not reacting well to like any sort of substance, whether it's completely clean or if there's like a lot of pesticides in them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For me, right. I noticed the shift happening when I was in my late twenties. Wow. Unbelievable. Well, Cheers to that. Now we can have some more cocktails. <laughs> All right, Rachel, thank you so much for joining us on The Well Drop today. And we are so excited to introduce Age Proof to all of our listeners. We will put again in the show notes, everyone gets 20% off their first order with the code WELLDROP. Uh, definitely message us. Let us know if it's working for you. We want to hear from you. And uh, Dina's going to be the first one to give it a go. <laughs> I, I just ordered mine. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Rachel. Thank you both for having me. It was such a pleasure to be here. And as we like to say at Age Proof, cheers tonight, crush tomorrow. Subscribe to The Well Drop on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your podcast. Share with a friend who can benefit from listening too. Follow us on social media at The Well Drop. The Well Drop podcast and content posted by Amber Berger and Dina Wismer is presented solely for general informational, educational, and entertainment purposes. The use of information on this podcast or materials linked from this podcast or website is at the user's own risk. It is not intended as a substitute for the advice of a physician, professional coach, psychotherapist, or other qualified professional, diagnosis, or treatment. Users should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical or mental health condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions. This podcast is for informational purposes only and should not be considered health advice. The Well Drop is not responsible for any losses, damages, or liabilities that may arise from the use of this podcast.